Hello everyone, welcome to Bluebeam's tutorial video on flattening. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can make your PDF markups a permanent, unchangeable part of your PDF by flattening them. We'll talk about the reasons that you may want to flatten your PDF, how to flatten and unflatten or recover your markups, and a few advanced options too. Now let's get started by opening up a PDF drawing. Before we begin, I want to point out that this video is shot in the CAD profile. You can change your profile by clicking the arrow next to the profile icon, represented by the man with the bow tie. You can see that I've already prepared this PDF with some markups. This PDF has several active markups. I can select them, move them, and change their properties. or even delete them. You'll also notice that these markups are listed as markups here in my markups list. Sometimes, however, it's important to make sure that the markups aren't movable or changeable. For example, if I need to review and sign off on this drawing, I don't want that annotation or any of the notes that I've made on this PDF drawing accidentally moved or deleted. And I also want to make sure that all of these markups print. Even though review always defaults to printing both your PDF and any markups that you've added, other PDF editors don't. Some default to printing just the PDF, not the markups along with it. For these reasons, review includes this flattening tool. Flattening a PDF makes markups a permanent part of the PDF. That means the markups can't be moved edited, or deleted, and they will always print, even if the person viewing the document is using another PDF editor. And here's how it works. First, click this flattening icon on the review toolbar, or you can go to the document menu and choose flatten markups. This dialog box will appear showing the default settings for flattening. You'll notice that by default, allow markup recovery is turned on. This is important. If you want to recover or unflatten your markups at a later time so that you can move, edit, change, or delete them, you want to keep this option on. Down here we can see what markup types are flattened by default. And here we can set the page range for flattening. You can also click this Add Files button to search your local and network drives for additional PDFs to flatten at the same time. Before flattening, review all these default settings and adjust as needed, then hit the Flatten button. These markups are now permanent parts of the PDF. Notice that I cannot select them, and that they also no longer appear as markups in the markups list. I can now send this file out and trust that my comments won't be accidentally moved, changed, or deleted, and that they will definitely print no matter what PDF editor the recipient is using. To recover my markups, I just need to go back to the flattening icon, click it so that the flattening dialog box appears again, and then this time, instead of flattening, I want to select unflatten. Now my markups are active again. I can select them, move them, change their properties, and delete them. You'll notice that these markups are also appearing in the markups list again. Now that we've gone over the basics of flattening and unflattening, I'd like to show you a few advanced tracks. First, let me talk about flattening to layers. I'm going to open up the Layers tab to demonstrate this feature. Open this left panel, then go to View, Tabs, and Layers to turn on the Layers tab. Flattening markups to a layer allows you to create an additional layer for the PDF, one that only contains your markups. When you have a layer of markups, you can then toggle them on and off. We'll start by clicking the flattening icon on the toolbar. In the flattening dialog box, select Create Layer, and then click Flatten. Now look at our Layers tab. There's a new layer on this PDF called Markups. It's currently turned on, but I can toggle the layer on and off by clicking this box with an eye. Let's close this Layers tab to move on. 
Another advanced option for flattening is to flatten only a selected markup. Let's open a new document to show this. This PDF has several markups, some of which I may want to remain active. But it also has an image of a signature, and I definitely don't want this accidentally moved or deleted. So I'll right-click it and select Flatten. Now this markup is a permanent part of the PDF. I can't select it or edit it. But the rest of the markups on this PDF remain active and can be selected, moved, changed, and even deleted. This concludes the Bluebeam video on flattening. For more videos on the many features of review, please visit the videos section of our website at www.bluebeam.com/videos. Thanks for watching and go get 'em Bluebeamers.